Hi guys, raining today, we didn't go to any charity shops, so I'm in fallback mode I suppose we could call it. I'm going to make a rubber band powered car. No charity shops, but we did go in some of what I would probably call bargain stores. Uh, looked in Pound World, looked in B&M Bargains and ended up in The Range, as it's called. And I bought this plastic popcorn holder because I thought that looked like a car to me. So I'm going to drill some holes in that. I also bought some plastic bowls and I'm going to stick two of them together face to face. So that will be my wheels. Well obviously I'll stick eight of them face to face but in pairs. I uh, need to find the centre so we can put a hole through. So I've just knocked up this uh, square. I suppose you could call it. The idea is from that point to that point will be the centre of any circle. So with two edges there, if I put something in there, then draw a line along that red line and then turn it and draw another line, I should be marking exactly where the centre is because we're using tangents and splitting the tangent. I can't remember what the correct phrase is, but that's what that should do for me. In fact, I might try and do that. Because if I drill a hole through them while they're all joined together, we should be okay. If I put a dot there and a dot there and join those lines together, turn it round, a dot there and a dot there, and turn it again. Don't need shouldn't need to do three, should only need to do two. But we'll see what we can do. So I need to join those lines up and where they cross should be the centre. Just do one other one at a different angle, that's better. Right, so if I drill a hole in the middle of that lot, that should be the centre. Or as close as I'm going to get by that sort of approximation. Now, you could use a soldering iron to melt a hole straight through, or a hot nail. What will probably happen with me drilling it is it'll probably all end in tears because it'll probably split. So I'll start off with a small hole. Don't drill into the table.
be using barbecue skewers. Well, that might be all right. I won't drill any bigger holes. I'll leave it like that so it's nice and tight. Right, next thing, we need to drill some holes in here. Got lots of nice lines on there. So I should be able to just use something, something like that. should keep them all parallel. Now you really ought to drill into a piece of wood to support it. Nice big lump of wood, so I won't accidentally drill through my fingers. I'm using the black line I've drawn and part of the white line. Oh, because I've assumed that they've got the painting the same on both sides, haven't I? luck it looks like they have but you can't rely on it yeah it's worth checking at this end should support themselves. I was worried about that collapsing as I pressed on it. But this end should be okay. These holes need to be a very loose fit on the barbecue skewer.
just test that. I don't know, I might still make that a little bit bigger. running down. Right, okay. That's the preparation work. Let's see what we can do with these plastic bowls. to do stick them together like that. Now I could glue them, what I'm going to try and do is just tape them. I'm hoping my barbecue skewer is long enough to go through there. Through there. It's going to be a tight fit. Just going to do it. They're just long enough. Right, I'm going to wrap some tape around there to hold them tight. trying to get away without having to use uh, hot glue or anything but we might need to put some on to stop the wheels sliding on the axle. Need to make sure there's a bit of a gap in there so it can slide side to side so these wheels don't rub on both sides of the bodywork at the same time. And I've just remembered, I've forgotten to drill another hole at the front there. We need another hole at the front for the rubber band to go in.
stuck to the table. That wasn't clever. Right, before I do any more then I'm going to drill a hole in the front here so I can put the rubber band in. Okay, so that's the back done, now the front. Good old rainy day out there, you can hear the rain. Right, need some rubber bands. Right, these ones came from Poundland. Hmm. Two is probably enough, but I'll do it with three. Three's going to be too long. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think I think two is enough. Just as a temporary measure. I'll put that on there and tape it in place. So we can adjust it if we need to. Right. Rubber band over the axle. There we go, it holds itself in place. Only thing is, my wheel's fallen off. <laughs> Might have to put a bit of sticky tape on the outside to hold the wheels in place. But we'll give that a try. See what happens. Right, put a bit of sticky tape on the outside of the wheels to help hold the wheels onto the axle. Wound it up again. Right, that's better. Yeah. That worked. Now I've done some upgrades, I don't know if we can see, I've put little plastic tubes over the axle to space the wheels to keep them away from the bodywork, front and back. Probably can't see them but there are clear plastic tubes on there. And then I've put hot glue on the axle to hold the wheels in place, to stop them spinning around. And I've also just glued a little piece of the barbecue skewer out in a T shape so we can hook the rubber band on easier. So we'll give that a try and see if we can go a bit further. wind it up too much first of all just to check that we don't get too much wheel spin. Well that's not bad. That was just about 8 metres, but I was just beginning to get a bit of wheel spin, so you might have to put some rubber bands around the edges here to improve the grip. Rubber bands round the rims to give us some extra grip. Yeah, just short of the full 8 metres. My kitchen is 5 metres and my conservatory is 3 metres. I've got a little bit of a gap. But it works. I'm happy with that. Job done.